Hello everybody, welcome back to another C++ tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about pointers. In the last episode, I explained to you how memory works when it comes to pointers. In this episode, I'm going to explain to you how you actually create pointers in C++. First of all, how do you create a pointer? Well, that's actually pretty simple. You just type in a variable name, so for instance, string. Then you type in an asterisk or a star, and then you type in a name that you want to give it. So let's just call it name. This creates a pointer. There's only one problem when it comes to memory in C++ and that is that it's no default value. The default value is just the value that, that it previously was, so it just takes the bytes and that's the value. So every time we run this program, name is gonna be something completely random. It's gonna point to some random memory, but we can fix that. We can use something called no pointer in order to specify that this pointer is supposed to point at nothing. The way that we do that is we some type in is no pointer. And basically what it does is it sets a memory address of name to nothing, so it'll be zero in most cases. The next thing that we need to know is how do we create memory on the heap? Well, we simply use the new keyword. So in order to create a new string for name, we type in name is equal to new string. And then in here we can specify whatever we want the starting value to be of the string. So let's say Jack. So now we've created a new variable in the string. One thing that you always have to do as soon as you create something on the heap is instantly create the delete function too. Otherwise you're gonna get memory leaks and that's bad. So how do you delete something from the heap? Well, you simply type in delete and then the variable that you wanna delete. So name in this case. But it's always handy to have a fill safe. So first check if it isn't already no pointer because you're gonna get an error if you try to delete something that's null. So if name ain't equal to no pointer, then delete. This way you will not delete something that's not there, so it won't give you any errors. So let's now print out a name. So we're just going to use cout name end line. So let's now run the program and what you will see is that we get a really random value. This is not Jack. This is not what we said it would be. No, what it's printing out is the memory address because the only thing that it's saved on the stack is the memory address that points to the actual value on the heap. So this simply prints out the memory address that is saved on the stack. So if you run the program again, you will see that the address is different. In order to prove that it's actually the case, we'll simply just comment out this line of code. So the name is equal to new string Jack. And now if you run it, you will see that the memory address is null. That's because we specified name is equal to null pointer. So how do we then actually access a variable in the heap? Well, we simply use the asterisk character in order to get the memory on the heap. So now if we run a program again, you will see that it actually says Jack. And that's basically all I have to explain for this episode. In the next episode, we're gonna talk about references. So be prepared.